introduction into the nth term, which is a formula that enables us to find any term in a sequence, which you really need for your maths. We're going to be looking at the formula for a triangular number. So we have n, open brackets, n plus 1, close brackets, divided by 2. It can be written out like this or like this. And because we have more than two operations, we need to be using bit mass. So triangular numbers, let's remind ourselves what they are. They are the number of dots in an equilateral triangle. So the first dot has its own triangle. If we add a row, the total is three dots. Continue and add another row and we have six. The next row would equal to 10. Then if we add one again, the next row would be 15. So if we look at these numbers, one to three, you add two. From three to six, you would add three. From six to 10, you would add four. Here you can notice there is a plus one pattern. So an example, let's walk you through nice and slowly. For this one, we're going to have n equals three. Now you can write it all out if that makes it easier for you, but let's start with the brackets. Three plus one is four. Now, according to bid mass, division should be next, but when you only have these two operations left, they become level, which is also the same for these two operations. So that means you just go back to the beginning and carry on working from the left. So the next thing we need to do is multiply the 4 by n. So that's 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12. And then the last is 12 divided by 2, which gives us 6. So 6 is the answer. Fifth triangular number. Pop up the formula n equals 5. Into the brackets then, 5 plus 1 is 6. Then we're going to have n times 6, which is 5 multiplied by 6, which gives 30. Then we only have the divide left. 30 divided by 2 is, of course, 15. Now if you can have a look, you could see why we would divide it by 2, because otherwise the area would make a rectangle. So the answer to this one is 15. So hopefully that was nice and easy. Let's try for the sixth triangular number. Okay then, n equals six, brackets, six plus one is seven. Then we're gonna do n times seven, which is going to give us 42. And then 42 divided by two is 21. And you can see those dots again to prove our theory. So the sixth triangular number is 21. Let's do the 51st triangular number. You have the key, you know the formula, nice and easy. So n plus one is 52. Then we're gonna multiply 52 by n, which is of course 51, and that gives us 2,652. So then we've got our answer, and we're just gonna divide that by two, nice and easy on the calculator. So the 51st triangular number is 1,326. Well done. Time for some fun facts. Looking at the first eight triangular numbers, if we added up the consecutive numbers, for example, one plus three, it makes four. And if we add three plus six, it gives us nine. Six plus 10 is 16. And 10 plus 15 is 25. Can you see the pattern? Two consecutive triangular numbers make square numbers.